Dr. Kilcher, one of our movie stars this year. We're, 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 we're proud to have her back in Hawaii. She is the star of Barbarian Princess. I've been fortunate enough to see that film. It's wonderful. It's extremely well done, and what a great actress, Brianna. We've had a nice email exchange going on, which I enjoyed very much. I got an email from her this morning that is just captures what Hawaii is all about so much, and I think she's just done an extraordinary portrayal in that film. You probably also remember her in her first major role as Pocahontas in the New World, where she first came to international claim. Welcome, Priyanka. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to firmly introduce myself. Um, how we do back in my home? Um, my name is Priyanka Kilcher. Um, I'm descendant of the Quechua and Wachipari people of Peru, and um, I would like to thank everyone involved in, the, in this um, festival for inviting me. It was a great honor to be here, and also I would love to thank all of the Hawaiian people um, for allowing me to be there and share their beautiful island home. Um, and yeah, I just want to say that um, international film festivals are really a wonderful platform for artists and filmmakers to really be able to, you know, tell stories that are need to be told and be brought to the international communities. And um, and uh, for me, as a young indigenous, you know, um, artist in this new age of film and technology, I feel that we also, as filmmakers, have a very big responsibility to be able to give voice to the voiceless and tell the world stories that have been forgotten um, and need to be brought back into the light of things. And um, and I'm just so happy to be back here. Uh, I adopted Hawaii in my heart as where I love to be. It's home for me. Um, I grew up here. Um, and uh, sadly, I had to move to the mainland, but I'm so happy every time I get to come back. And I thank everyone for their gracious welcome and for allowing me to be here. And um, yes, thank you very much. Thanks for another. Next, we have Rick Kinzel, who's the executive director of the Bill Shrek Foundation. Rick has become a strong supporter of him and a good friend of all of ours. We always enjoy spending time with him while he's here. This is the third year the Vilchak Foundation has sponsored the Hawaii International Film Festival. And the Vilchak, Rick can tell you more, but the Vilchak Foundation was created by Dr. and Mrs. Vilchak, who were immigrants to the United States and did extremely well here professionally, and they've gone on to support the uh, efforts at recognizing the accomplishments of first-generation immigrants to the United States through arts and through uh, uh, biomedical research as well. Welcome, Rick. Good to be back. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I, I run a pretty unique foundation in New York, and it's my job and my privilege, really, to be familiar with some of the world's finest artists, artists working in very diverse media. Um, the focus of our foundation, as Chuck mentioned, is to uh, show how immigrants contribute to America's arts, um, and therefore to American culture. We support projects in all in all of the arts. This is my book of current projects. It includes fine art, music, opera, literature, dance, architecture, design, film, and most recently the culinary arts. Film is particularly important to us. Um, when you think of all of the art forms that I just mentioned, how many of them really have proven successful in our culture at um, not so much breaking down barriers, but enabling us to see through them or beyond them. Uh, food certainly does that, uh, but I think film most successfully uh, has done so. Um, do you know what I mean? The art form helps something that is foreign become something that is familiar. And so for the third year now, the Vilcek Foundation is partnering with HIF to present the American Immigrant Filmmakers on Profile program here at the festival. This is a special curated program of five films by immigrant filmmakers, uh, directors or actors. 
Um, and so that's why I'm here. I encourage you all to see the films. They're all dynamite. You know, I appreciate the creativity, especially that Rick and the Bill Checks bring to the foundation. Uh, every year we expand upon what we do with Bill Check Foundation. And last year we took several of the films that had been in KIF to New York and had a presentation of the incredible headquarters that Vilcek had. They've renovated an old uh, stable there, just extraordinary state of their facility, where they have many cultural and artistic presentations there of immigrant uh, art, uh, immigrant filmmakers' art and other kind of works that they do there. And uh, this year, the Vilcek films, again, are just extraordinary. And part of our expansion this year, we had a video on demand aspect of NGN Channel 680 on Oceanic, so you could actually watch for free some of the Vilcek films of the past. So stay tuned, and, uh, and uh, I encourage you again to see all the films from Vilcek. Next, it's a great pleasure to uh, introduce Jeanette paulson Heronico. Uh, this is the HIF's 29th anniversary. Jeanette is the founding director of HIF. This wouldn't have happened if it weren't for Jeanette Paulson. And I learned all the good things I know from Jeanette. So uh, she, she's been a mentor to me as well. And she continues to be uh, very strongly involved in cinema, particularly from Asia and the Pacific Rim. So we are proud to be working with her this year on a tribute to Madame Kawakita. And Jeanette can tell you more about uh, the project this year. Jeanette. Thank you, Chuck. Aloha. It is uh, exciting to be working one more year with the Hawaii International Film Festival. Um, there are three things I'd like to mention to you. The first Vision and Film Award ever went to Madame Kawakita for the work that she did in taking Japanese films under her arm, the prints, to films like Cannes and Venice and Locarno and Berlin. And she's the one who introduced uh, people like Ozu or Kurosawa or the great filmmakers from Japan and opened up the windows of the world so we knew better about Japan through their cinema. If she was alive today, she'd be 100 years old. She made such an impression of those that we that met her when she was on the jury here in Hawaii. So we are doing a salute to her and showing three films that she introduced, four of them at least, and having special guests. So I invite you when you go out to get the book that uh, Donald Ritchie wrote a little essay about the Kawakitas and also the schedule of these three films that we're going to be showing in a panel on her. And I'd like to introduce to you Yuka Sakana, who is here from Tokyo, representing the Kawakita Memorial Film Library that helps us program films, Japanese films and festivals throughout the world. Second thing I want to tell you is the net pack jury. We have Lee Du Yang, who's head of it. He's uh, consistently named as one of the 10 most famous directors from Korea. And he's here staying at the Royal Hawaiian tonight. And then he uh, was with the Moana Surf Rider. If you want to interview with him, he's won Cannes and Venice and all kinds of festivals. Um, he's available for you to interview. The third thing, I'd like to invite you to a lunch on um, Monday. Uh, where we launch a film festival on the internet. We have the licensed 400 of the best films from Asia and the Pacific that have shown through film festivals throughout the year. And we're launching the site. You can stream them on the internet. We'll tell you all about it. We'll have our film curators there. And if you remember the press, I have an advisory about it and an invitation for you to come to lunch 12 to noon, Monday at the Dole Cannery Ballroom. Thank you so much. Aloha. That's extraordinary that finally uh, Asian Pacific Rim films are getting the kind of exposure on the internet they haven't had before, so I applaud Jeanette's efforts at that. Also, one quick plug for Rashomon, which is almost sold out, but it's free, but you have to have a ticket to go. Rashomon is the first international film I saw as a child, and my parents taking me very clearly. I was blown away by it. I thought it was an extraordinary film, and that really began my interest in international cinema. So Rashomon has always been a special place in my heart. So it's part of the, the tribute to Madame Kawakita. I want to open up to questions now from the audience, and, uh, and uh, you can interact directly with the panel. 